Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the month. It's finally here. The Monster Truck Action World Finals is finally here with 48 trucks and only six winners. There will be the qualifying competition along here, so that is why there will be six winners instead of five. But I am joined by a special person. I can't ever remember his name, but he goes along the lines of uh, Rig of Raw's Mosh Jam Realistic Point Series. You might know him, you know, Rig of Raw's content creator. But I'd like to introduce him right here. How you been, man? I've been great. I've been looking forward to this. I've been nervous for this, to be honest. Um, but I'm excited to get into it and see what type of monster truck action we're going to be bringing to the fans. And uh, yeah, check out my channel, ROR SRPS. Uh, Rigs of Rods semi realistic point series. I do, uh, I got a tour coming up and I got my world finals coming up November 17th to the 19th. So come check us out. Yeah, I'm probably gonna kill him for that advertisement, but oh well. <laughs> All right, what do you think of this track before we go do, ahead man. and start qualifying? Oh, dude, I, I love the track. There's definitely some opportunities for some people to be going big, and there's some smaller, more technical stuff, and I love that triple. And I'm just excited to get into the action, to be honest with you. All right, here's the point where our drone goes ahead and nails on the trucks. Here we have Brandon Arthur in Iron Man. Driving that amazing old school body with Tim Jones and Tailgater right next to him. Zach Gardner in Wildside. David Olfret in Velociraptor. Um... <laughs> Morgan Kane in Max D. New Elliot in Max D Blackout, Charlie Pocken in Gravedigger Red, Mac, or actually this one's uh, Dennis Anderson in Gravedigger Chrome, Tyler Menigo in Gravedigger Purple, Matt Cody in Gravedigger Green, and then two of your series winners is uh, Weston Anderson in Gravedigger, followed along with John Zimmer Jr. in Terminal Velocity, his first World Finals debut, but it's at a Monster truck action years his second year. <sighs> and the crowd goes wild for these competitors. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, I've been waiting for this for a while, but we, we, we got to honor America some way. We're going to go and play the national anthem as I skip the Pledge of Allegiance at school today because why not just do the national anthem once a week? It's an old sometimes. But I saved it all for this moment. For American song, so please rise, remove your hats on America any way you can. Yeah, give it up for America!
Woo! Okay, that is not what I expected. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. This is always the part where I love. Where you pretend you could have loops, but you really can't. Nobody's hit that. Alright, but let's go ahead and get started with qualifying! You see John Zimmer Jr. heading down to the main pod to get his passing. Super excited to see how he does and are we, we doing we're doing times here in qualifying? Yep. Alright, let's see what he can do and see how fast he can lay down his time. Alright, I'm also going to go ahead and start parking the trucks at least four at a time and then, you know, you know how I have to be. Weston Anderson, crazy drop. I don't know, I, I just love this scheme. Beautiful. Oh yeah, I love that one. Weston puts down a good performance every time. Matt Cody's truck, on the other hand, very, it's like, it's very easy to tip over, so the, he's got to be really careful. Keep an eye on him in the turn. Yeah, as you can see, it's all diggers right now, because Monster Jam is made of grave digger for some reason. That's the breadwinner right there. <laughs> That's the fan favorite. Alright. It's always the funny part where I have to tab. I don't think you knew that, but you have to do that almost each and every time I'm going to do like the 40. I just do five, so. Alright, ready for the first pass of the night? Ready to go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's start qualifying. Let's go, Green! Absolutely launching off the line and down that straight. Nicely done. I'm gonna head through this spin around, this turn around here. Drifting that truck. Looking like a solid pass to start out the night. One of the best the part. Over the line. Woo! That's something that's gonna have to be careful. in that front end. Now that's. Gotta be careful. That's something that's gonna have to watch out for. He will go and go to the back Definitely. and get that all set up. Cause. You know, we, we, yeah, we you might want to get yeah. might want to get checked out. <laughs> All right, the first time of the night, it's going to be a twenty-seven point four four from John Zipper Jr. Terminal Velocity. Decent benchmark. Let's see how these other competitors stack up compared to that as the night goes on. But yeah, you you kind of have to aim it forward when you're landing. You have to like aim it forward and not then you're going to get twisted a little bit and then end up right there. Oh yeah. That's definitely something that in the in the screenshots of the of the track in the building process <laughs> they were uh, that was something that I was curious of if that was gonna hinder these drivers or if they would be able to handle that and avoid it. Yeah, as you can see, they they got that tight little room, but as far as the track, so they got got to deal with it. And yeah, because I this is one of the most interesting tracks I've seen, so why not keep it that way? Alright, well, here we go, Western Anderson. Let's go, Green! Going down pretty good. Get so far. Super tight on that first turn. Crooked over the jump there. Spinning around that launch ramp. Great drift. Super wide in this final turn though. Pulling it back in tight, but he needs to watch out for that center jump. Nice wheelie across the line and almost going out the same way Terminal Velocity did on that launch ramp. Trying to find his way around, but he will get a fast time faster than Zimmer Jr. so far. Do we have an official time on that? Yep, we already do. Let's see. This time is for Weston Anderson at the left lane. It's going to be a 26.28. That will be nice. the new fastest time. All right, now let's go see what Matt Cody got. This is one of the drivers I'm scared for. Oh, 
Yeah, I hope he does really good. Max Bode, you said he does tip over quite easy. You saw that throughout the season? Yep. I'm there each and every um, stop, no matter what, but yeah. Alright, I think we're all you ready know, to he go. He does the night for the world finals. Alright, let's go, Green. Ooh, a bit of a slap, really, down that first straight. Ooh! Losing that rear end in the first turn. Trying to get that truck straight oh. out, and he goes over! Over the nose. Pulls those BKT tires back underneath. But that is a rough first pass here in qualifying for Matt Cody. Oh, lifting up that inner, that inner front tire. Almost going over in the turn. And that is going to do it. Our slowest pass of the night so far. I did tell you that thing could tip over easily, but said what happened is he got those really tight turns. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> a bit yeah. too tight in the first in the first one. <laughs> yeah. In case if you're kind of confused of why he kept on going, we we don't like new rules. We like going old school. 2016 to 2012, so or something like that. Something along lines. All I know is that we're old school. We're we're gonna keep it going. All right. I love that. I love that he was able to keep going. Unless there was a big breakage, I, I probably would have kept going too. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, mistakes can happen, but let's see. The time was a 39.13. Oof. Yeah, a rough start for Matt Cody for sure. We'll see how he does on his next pass. We'll see if he can improve his time just a bit or if he'll end up going over once again. But next up, we got Tyler Menega, right? In this great digger machine. Yep. All right, you go and say the famous words I always say. And we are going green. Is that a perfect? Down that first straight. Good in the turn, a bit slow. He's still running. Trying to keep that truck under control into this turnaround here. A nice drift, probably one of the better turns we've seen there on the exit. Of the around this final turn, Tyler Meninga up and over the line. And that is going to do it. Let's see what his time holds for us. All right. Tyler Menegas' time is now officially in. It is a 27.03. May not be the fastest faster than, time. Faster but, than terminal velocity, though, correct? Yes. Yes. All right. Now we're going to bring out the next four. Dennis Anderson, Gravedigger, Charlie Pocking, Gravedigger, Neil Elliott, Max C, and the uh, other truck, Max C, because I don't want to check. Morgan Kane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember more than me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the right one. We got a, we got a few Max Cs. I got them written down in a specific order, but. <laughs> yeah, the, the list is right next to me, but yeah, I'm not paying attention to it for some reason, but yeah. We gotta, we gotta keep our eye on the drivers, right? Yep. Talking in that red grave digger. Now, the Wilmot pass. This is gonna be interesting on what happens. Yeah. And it's, I, I, I can't wait to see that blackout with Max D perform, period. Let alone, you know, seeing how he's gonna handle this track. Red Maxi revving that engine up sounds great here yep. in Anaheim. All right, well, I think we're all good to go, right? Yes, sir. All right, let's go through. Dennis Anderson, the legend. Yeah, great to have Dennis back out on the track. Great first turn. Ooh, I think that got on the exit, though. I also think that kind of helped him to look out. 
Oh yes. A patented digger style or dentist style that race. Oh! Oh, up for two wheels! Bending it back down. That is gonna hurt his time, but giving his fans a shot. Oh, you can never go wrong. Big air Woo! over the line and stuffing that front end in hard on that launch ramp. Yeah, but they have to weld that four leaf bar back, but it was worth it for and the he's time. He's definitely going to take it back to the pits. What is Dennis's time here in Anaheim for his first pass? All right, for Dennis Anderson's first pass here in Anaheim, it is going to be a. Wrong, this is the Dennis Park All right, the time is going to be a. 30.55. A rough time from Dennis, but he did have a couple struggles in that lap. We'll see how he does once he gets that truck fixed and comes out for his second pass. Yeah, but honestly, it, it is kind of designed like it is kind of designed like Matt, so yeah. Actually, it seems like he clipped that inner ramp, and that's what kind of set him up on two wheels it kind of threw him off in the beginning of the turn yeah but honestly dennis and charlie are the only ones that have the classic zoomies on the truck if you have not realized i didn't realize i wasn't paying attention to the sound i was trying to keep an eye on the on the action here and that kind of distracted me but don't worry man i'll point those things out for you all right <laughs> but we're all good all good all right. Back in that digger machine last time I saw him, he was in Monster Mutt, so it's good to have him back on that digger team. Out real wide on the exit of the first jump. He heads around. Gotta be careful on that launch ramp. Getting that truck a little upset there. Have to readjust midway through the turn. Oh, very squirrely down that straightaway. Rough pass for Pawkin. Here in Anaheim, first lap of the night. We'll see how he does next time. Well, just a rough break. Yep. All right, Charlie Pumpkin score is now locked in. It is a 30.76. Not far from Dennis's time. Was he behind Dennis's time? Yes, just by a little bit. Just by a bit. Alright, well, here we have our first little bit now. This is exciting. I, I absolutely love the look of this blackout truck. Alright, let's go ahead and go green. Spins very fast down the straight. Already out of that first turn as well. We're clipping that inner corner of the of the pad there. That doesn't stop him though as he's going really fast down the straight. Well he is absolutely zooming. Into the final turn already. And exiting over the line. I don't know, from where I'm sitting, that might be the fastest time of the night. What are we looking at on time here? Oh he Alright. He barely makes the cut of, uh, you know, being the fastest time. Was he actually the fastest time? Yep. His time was a 25.99. Wow. Almost a 26 flat. That really, I mean, it felt fast, but here in the time, I mean, yeah, that was that was a solid run from Max B Blackout. Yeah, now Morgan Kane has to compete with that. I think he we'll see how it. he gets. He's right. a solid racer, but I mean, it, that Wilman was just insane. Yeah, let's go ahead and go green. Off to a squirrely start there, nearly ending up in that launch ramp. Up and over the line for the first time. Out wide in that turnaround, but heading back down the straight. Looking like a 26, maybe an early 27. Crooked over oh, the line. Oh, snap. All right. I 
Got some good news. What happened? Alright. The time for Morgan Kane is gonna be A. Twenty five point five four wow. should be your new I, time leader. I was a bit off there, but wow, it didn't. It, in the moment, it didn't feel as fast as that blackout nasty. But I mean, solid pass for sure. Yeah, I think the blue lane um, from that slap wheelie ramp, and then compared to that launch it ramp, I feel like the blue lane's gonna be a lucky one. The red, you just have to go ahead and have really good skill and luck. Well, I think most so of the drivers can do that. We got a super fast pass from Morgan Kane. Are we? Are you thinking we might have some faster passes than that one, or are we thinking that's a competitor for fastest pass of the night? Yeah. The, what I say is the red lane, that one's going to be hard. So to try and beat the fastest time of the night on the red lane is going to be very difficult. So, I mean, I mean someone has to do it. So. Right. We'll see how it goes, but a 25.5. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and see what David Olfrey and Velociraptor has. Let's go to it. Here's a beautiful sound. My favorite. Oh, yeah, that thing sounds great. I've been over the line for the first time. Heading around this turnaround. Velociraptor fast tonight in Anaheim. Heading around this final turn. Drifting that truck looking great. Oh. Hey, I'm about to eat my words. We might have a competitor for the fastest lap already compared to Morgan Kane. What are we looking at on time for David Olfer? Oh my. We are looking at in the left lane. A. 25 point. 20. He is your new wow. fastest time. By point three and some change, right? 25.0 to 25.5. Yeah, wow. Olford is killing it so far. We'll see how he does in that red lane. But All next right. up, we got Wild Side, Zach Garner. You can go and say the word, we are, buddy. And we are going green. Launching off the line. Outside looking fast down that straight. We might have a competitor already, depending on how the rest of this run goes. Bit squirrely over the line. How wide do that turnaround? But looking good on the exit. Drifting down that straightaway. And into this final turn super tight for Wildside. Flipping that center jump might be in trouble. Trying to get that truck under control. Just manages to do it before that launch ramp. What are we looking at on time for Zach Garner and Wildside? All right, what we are looking at is a 20, 26.00, 26 flat. Ooh, 26 flat. Yeah, that felt fast. Definitely felt faster than a couple of those digger runs, and I'm not talking about the ones where they rolled over. <laughs> that, was a, that was a solid run from Wildside. Now, here we have is an independent driver here in Boston. Or, I mean, monster truck action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing else. Tailgater. Definitely, <laughs> definitely one of the more unique trucks we got out on the track. And being an indie, it's always nice to see some independent representation in Monster Jam. Yep, well, let's go ahead and go green and see what we got. Launching off the line. A lot of shock action getting off of that pad. Tailgater looking fast so far, already in that turnaround, keeping it nice and tight, nice and controlled through that little pain coming away from that turnaround. Great right, final turn, another fast run here in Anaheim. We'll see how he does on time. And that is sounding like a fast one based on your reaction. What are we looking at for Tailgater? Ooh. We are looking at A. Actually, for Tim Jones, 
a tailgater for the left lane. We are looking at a 24.89. Wow. Talk about independent representation. What a run from Tim Jones. I don't know what these trucks are on, but whew, it's freaking fast. I was, I, I'm telling you, to, to say that I'm shocked is, is not even, and it's not because he's an independent, but that, I'm just basing everything on that maxi blackout run, and that run was so intense, it felt so intense, <laughs> that things are surpassing that is kind of blowing my mind right now. Yeah, but here we have Brandon Arthur in Iron Man as a rookie. So let's see what he has. So let's go green. Rookie launching off the line. A bit of a slap really down the straight. Picking up that front tire in the turn. Cutting it nice and tight though. And around that turnaround once again. Keeping it nice and tight. Looking good. This is feeling like a fast one in my opinion. I don't have a clock in front of me, but this is feeling fast. Oh, oh, super crooked. Needs to watch out. Going for a ride and rolling the truck. Woo! Brandon Arthur and Iron Man is down. What is the time for that run? I mean, it's not the lead, but he laid down a very fast pass at 25.77. Oh, yeah. Right at the beginning. I mean, we started in the 27s. So the fact that we're getting 24s and pretty consistent 25s and 26s, I mean... He, he did great, especially as a rookie coming into this unique Anaheim track. Revving that engine as he leaves the stadium. That thing sounds great as well. All right, we are gonna go ahead and have to cut the cameras real quick to make sure that everything back here is all good. So I'm gonna be back in just a moment. Gotcha. All right, everything is all good back here. They have fixed terminal velocity and then a Limmer Jr. heading back out on the track. He's about to lay down his second pass of the night. I'm excited to see how he's going to do it. And if he can do better than that first run, he is switching lanes now. So that is something that, I mean, we, this is our first time seeing that red lane. I'm curious to see how these drivers do. Switching lanes, turning the opposite direction of the way that they've been turning already. Weston. Coming out in that orange there again, lined up, awaiting his pass, his qualifying pass here in Anaheim. More trucks, um, now that we are on the red lane, more trucks are able to line up for their pass, so this will get by more smoothly. That Cody coming back after that rough roll. <laughs> in the first lap, in his first pass. Tyler Meniga, who had a solid run. I do want to see if he can do better than his previous time. Dennis Anderson, the man, the legend himself, getting out on the track. So good to see Dennis perform once again. I think we're getting all the diggers out of here. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Charlie Pocken as well. Whole digger team out on the track, lined up, awaiting their second pass. Everybody, and then there's Zimmer Jr. <laughs> <laughs> He's the odd one out, man. Oh, yeah. Let's hope that uh, bit of adversity he's facing can uh, inspire his run and make him a little more hungry facing off against all those diggers. All right, on your call. All right, terminal velocity is going green. On 
Pulses down the straight. Tight's a little close to that launch ramp. Coming around. Ooh, real tight. Clipping that triple just a bit. Getting around. Narrowly avoiding that backwards. Super tight spin around there. Into this final turn, bouncing around. Up and over the line. And what are we looking <laughs> at? For oh, no. Oh, my God. He did it again. Zimmer Jr. struggling with that landing. I He's mean, going to have to go out and get some work done again already. All right. So what we are looking for is the fastest qualifier. But because the right lane has been his fastest time, as I'm going to reveal the time in a second, the left lane will no longer be necessary because at the end of qualifying, I'm going to have to hurry and add all the times up to see who gets seat number one and all and so and so for the racing. So we are taking the faster of the two times that yep. is going to be their official times. Yep. 26.38 for John Zimmer Jr. from 26. Wow. Zimmer Jr. killing it tonight. A bit of a rough first pass, but I mean, as long as you can improve, I, I, I see no problem with having a rough pass. Yep. Weston staged and ready to go now. And that Gravedigger team is going green. Down the first straightaway. And a beautiful first turn as well. Oh my god, I think this lane is faster. Cutting it nice and tight around that turnaround too. Wow, look at this run from Weston. This has to be a contender for the fastest run. There's no way. Alright, the time is going to be a 25.39. Wow. Some of these runs just look insanely fast that one it felt crazy all right that will great be his run fast. from weston that will be his fastest time actually yeah i mean i don't doubt that that definitely felt fast felt from my memory felt faster than the first pass as well next out on the track though or taking the track i should say getting nice and staged matt cody coming back after that rollover in his first pass. See how he does here for pass two in that red lane as we go green. Pouring it off that starting pass. Completely sideways. Oh, and loses the rear end once again. Matt Cody struggling tonight at the world finals. Oh my goodness. Oh my what God. What is going on? Matt Cody struggling here in Anaheim. He was your pick tonight for fastest qualifier. You have to be upset. Matt Cody. Struggling, just trying to get that truck straight. Oh, that barely end. makes. He did that center jump. He barely even touches Man. it. <laughs> he barely he touched struggled. the finish line. What are we looking at for a time for Matt Cody? Digger truck absolutely destroyed. <laughs> it, it will unfortunately be slower. It was a 40.31 compared to a 39.13. Wow. That is our slowest time of the night. We haven't had any DNS. Oh! He's going freestyling? No, look. On the front. Oh, absolutely destroyed that truck. Man. The shock is now sticking out. Oh my god. Definitely gonna have to put in some work tonight before our official racing event. Yeah, I, I, I don't know where the other trailers are, but jeez, why, why are there so little trailers? You have so many trucks. <laughs> <laughs> 48 truck, six trailers. Next up, we got Tyler Meniga in that purple grave digger lined up. Or no, this is, this is Dennis and Tyler. It's Tyler, right? Yeah. All right, Tyler. let's go ahead and go green. Walking down the straight for the first time, second time, the first time in this red lane. 
great turn from Tyler. Looking great so far. Got a little tight on that pad, getting that front end a little upset. He's out wide in the entrance to this turnaround. Looking good so far in this final turn as well. A bit awkward. But up and over the line Ooh. for Tyler Meninga. Looking solid and a rough hit. Speaking of looking solid, that ramp did not do that truck any favors. Slamming right into it. What are we looking at for a time a new for fast, Meninga? A new fastest time for him, at least, is a 25 and a nice 5. A great run. I, I was a little... A little worried there when you said fastest time because that did not look fast, but faster for him. That makes sense. Good to see these drivers improving over their first pass as well. Next up on the track, ready to go. Dennis Anderson back for the world finals. We are going green. Off that starting pad, down the straight, and into this first turn. A great looking turn from Dennis. Out a bit wide at the start, but ooh, a rough turn here in the turnaround. Narrowly avoiding that back turn. Super quick to get out of it, though. Nice and tight around the triple. Losing that rear end a bit. Going wild, going freestyling already. Over goes Dennis. And that, I, that's got to be a better time than the first pass, at least. It was. It was a 28.04. What a run. Definitely not one of our faster times, but a better pass than the first one. And going wild never hurts these fans. Yeah, that is true. Well. I always say you hate to see them go over, but you love to watch the destruction. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he'll give us a little freestyle action if he loses or not. Hey, whether he does or doesn't, we're going to see him go wild in actual freestyle. I can't wait to see that for sure. Yep. Woo, how many trucks do we have out here already? We only have four. And last but not least for the Digger team, Charlie Pawkins. Representing that red grave digger truck, staged and ready to go. Looking for a better pass than last time, and we are going green. Flying down that straightaway, picking up that front left. Nice turn so far. Looking like a solid run. But we got a lot left to go. He heads around this turnaround. Looking good. Oh! Oh, Rough turn up on two wheels on a bicycle, setting it back down. But that is not going to look good. That is definitely a worse pass Woo. that we saw from him and in round one. And it stuffs that front end in as well. A lot of trucks going nose first into that backflip ramp, not having as easy of a time avoiding it as in the blue lane. This time was a 32.34, unfortunately not faster than his last time. Yeah, that was rough. That was, it's unfortunate too. Next out, get lined up. Our first truck that's going to be qualifying in this second section here. Max D Blackout, who set a record here at first with our faster time, one of our faster times of the night. And Morgan Kane in this red grave digger who blew that time out of the water. It's gonna be a good a good little uh competition between the Max D team and this uh, for the second half. I'm curious to see how these trucks are gonna do and if they can improve as well. Velociraptor, David Olfer, looking good, heading up onto that starting pad. And this is another truck that laid down one of the one of our extremely fast times. Or Zach Garner, excuse me, wild side. That truck looks awesome. I love that paint job. You're, he, he's, he's a good choice. A good choice in uh, body work for sure. Yeah, I'm awesome. Look at that paint job. Yeah, this looks great. And then we got Tim Jones, Tailgater, our record right now, correct? Or is it Iron Man who's our record? 
Tim Jones, Iron Man, just came in second. Right, Tim Jones holding our record right now for fastest time of the night. We still got a lot of trucks to get through, but so far, it was a performance, to, to say the least. Yep. And the part that sucks is we got one. Two, three more rounds to go of qualifying for like truck sections. It's in divided into three, or actually four. We're only on the first one. We still got a lot more to go. Whew. Gonna be a long one. Hey, it is what it is. And every truck is gonna come out and perform. Speaking of performances, Max D Blackout staged. Ready to go. Are we ready to go, Green? Time to turn off and up. Alright, we are now set. And Max D is going green. And he's launching off the line. We do still have some body work out on the track. Max D cutting it close. Picking that left front up in the air. He had a solid pass in that blue lane. Like I said, one of our uh, one of our set records seems to be struggling in this red lane. Got it a little close to that center pad there, but he does avoid that backflip ramp. Almost ends up saying hello to Morgan Kane. He's gonna go party. Let's check out our time for Max D Blackout here in his second pass. Yeah, that body part with inside that suspension is not good. <laughs> At least it's clear off the track now. Yep. It, that that bodywork upset uh, Pockin in the uh, in his pass. Yeah, but unfortunately it will be a slower time as it is a 26.93. As the original time was a 25.99. At least that first time was a solid pass, and he he has something to compete with. Yeah. Uh, the, the good part is that out of this, he at least cleared, cleared the track, so that's good. Right. But next up, we got Morgan Kane in that red Max D. Staged and ready to go, revving that engine. And we are three. Still so close to red light track. Oh, whoa! What turn in that red lane. These Max D drivers are not handling the red lane very well. Picking up that inner front tire. Having a solid turnaround, but just a rough exit after closing that ramp up on a bicycle, taking it all the way down the track. If he can't do well in time, he will perform for these fans. And look at that wheelie. And he's gonna stuff that left front right into the back of the ramp. What are we looking at on time for Morgan Payne in Max D? We are looking for a time of 29.75. That is worse than his first pass. He did lay down a solid pass, faster than Blackout Maxi in the first uh, in the first pass. So it's unfortunate here in the red lane. But next up, we got that blue Velociraptor, David Olfer, ready to go, and he is going green. One of our fastest times of the night here. I keep saying that, but Tim Jones, Iron Man. Our Tailgater, Iron Man, and Velociraptor are our top trucks right now. He's doing decent, having a bit of a struggle around that turnaround, around that launch ramp. He's getting up on two wheels as well in this final turn. This red lane is looking good for the Digger team, but these other drivers are struggling here to get a better pass. All right, he will not get a faster time as his original time was a 25.20, but now it is a 25.31. Still solid. You can't count him out. He definitely, I mean, so far from the trucks we've seen, I would say Velociraptor is a solid pick at taking a win here, but he does not have our fastest time anymore. Next up, we got Zach Garner in that wild side truck with that custom World Finals body on there, getting staged, getting ready to go. Alright, 
had to do something really quick, but I think we're all good to see it. Get Wildside all set up. Because before, there was light inside of my uh, commentator booth, and now there's light. Yeah. Alright. Zach Gardner. <laughs> Zach Gardner on the line, ready to go, and we are green. Taking off down the track, flag waving in the wind. That pit viper sponsorship so proudly portrayed on this truck. Looking solid so far, looking fast. Not necessarily our most put together run of the night. Solid. Oh. Was looking good until he got up on that long ramp. He set him a bit crooked in that chicane, but he's looking good in this final turn. And that felt fast. That might be one of our faster runs of this lane so far that we've seen. What are we looking at for a time? It was unfortunately a 26.23. Was that slower than his original time? Yes. Yeah. I mean, move, that red lane is just not working for these drivers. I mean, most of the practice that they have done actually is on the blue lane, but not the red lane as much. So that probably is a big practice. Right, definitely. But next up, we got Tim Jones and Tailgater, and we are green. Taking off, launching right out of that starting net. Great turn so far. As you said, these drivers have had practice in that blue lane. Not much here in the red lane. This is his first pass qualifying night in that red lane. But he is looking just as solid as he was in that blue lane. A bit slow through that final turn. I mean, look. Oh, whoa. Woo. Manages to get a save. Tim Jones going wild here in I Might have to get that truck checked out. Not sure. What are we looking at for a time with Tim Jones here? He heads up into the pond. Celebrating right. his win or his, uh, his, his pass. Excuse me. All right, unfortunately, it is not the fastest one, but I like the celebration. It was a 25.76, not the fastest. Not our fastest time of the night, not even beating his initial pass, if I'm, if I'm correct. Um, and he, I mean, it was still solid. It was still a very solid run. And a, a competitor with his first pass. All right, we only have one last truck, then we're going to continue on to our second half, or uh, second quarter. That second, or that final truck, excuse me, Brandon Arthur in Iron Man, that classic Iron Man body, everyone's favorite, and we're going green. Launching off that starting line, bit of a slap wheelie once again for Iron Man. Decent turn, struggling just a bit around that first turn. Iron Man holds our fastest time so far. Looking good around that final turn, heading up and over the ramp, getting crooked once again. Iron Man did essentially the same thing in this first pass. The time will be a 26.64. Not beating his initial time. His initial time is what we are going to roll with in that blue lane. A lot of these drivers getting stuck with that blue lane pass as far as times are concerned. All right, the cameras are now cut out as we are going to go ahead and start transporting all the trucks onto the back so we can go ahead and get ready for the next set of trucks. Cameras are cut.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are here on the second half or se second quarter of racing qualifying, at least. Here we have, or actually, you know what? You go ahead and announce the um, truck names and drivers. Ooh, all right, <laughs> a lot of pressure here. Uh, first up for qualifying, we got Toxic, driven by Corey Snyder. Then we got Whiplash, driven by Brianna Mahan. Scooby Doo, driven by Lindsey Reed. Monster Energy by Todd LaDuke. Swamp Thing, rocking no BKTs, driven by Tyler Dixon. Tony Dixon, uh, uh, hey, hey. Tony Dixon, my bad, my bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just Get Her Done 2, driven by Brandon Talashka. Son of a Digger by Ryan Anderson. Max D, the 20th anniversary scheme, driven by Tom Mintz. Bakugan Dragonoid, driven by Camden Murphy. Avenger, of course, driven by Jim Kohler. And Thunder Roris, driven by Tony Oaks. And last but not least, we got El Toro Loco, driven by Mark McDonald with that black paint job. I love that truck too. Seems like the, the black versions of these trucks are always cooler than the original. <laughs> Toxic heading over to the line. We're going to get these trucks lined up and ready to go qualifying here in Anaheim. A past uh, world finals champion here, right? I'm, I'm not tripping. I'm remembering correctly. Uh, no, it's Oh, Lindsey Reed, you're correct. Look at that. Lindsey Reed, Scooby Doo, freestyle champion, past world finals. I can't believe I mixed the two up. <laughs> Monster Energy, Todd the Duke. Gotta be going back to this blue lane. We saw a lot of our faster times coming out of the blue lane last round. See how they do this time, and if these new trucks and lay down some fast passes in that blue lane or if the red lane will actually do good oh. for some of these drivers swamp thing bumping monster energy little little friendly competition there what do you think is going on down there <laughs> I, I don't think swamp thing has a oh gosh you got we're lighting all the trucks up this time we're not wasting any time we got a lot of trucks here. We got 12, and this is only a portion of our competitors tonight. These and the other round, it's only half. <laughs> yeah, we got, a, we got a good lineup here. 48 trucks just in the main field. We also got a showdown for... Actually, no, it's a 36, I think, for this, and then 12 for... Yeah, 12 for this. All of them together are 48. Technically, we got 48 trucks okay. so. 48 trucks all together. Excuse me. Avenger Jim Kohler taking the track and getting lined up. Getting ready for his qualifying pass. First qualifying pass of the night. Like I said, this is a new group of trucks. We just had a group of trucks come out and lay down their passes. Tony Oaks coming out all in that Thunder Roar so truck. Oh yeah, this is a great lineup right here. Tony Oaks going freestyling before getting lined up. No, he's just trying to get the fans entertained. This might get a little bit, you know. I love it. I love it. Mark McDonald in that black El Toro Loco. I'm sure this is going to be a great pass coming from him. Trucks blocking off that exit. Good. We gotta go like we run through this, so we'll try as best as we can, but yeah. first up we got Toxic, Corey Snyder, we are going green. Oh. A rough start already, almost hanging out over that long run. Oh. Getting into trouble in the first turn. Down goes Corey Snyder in Toxic, our first DNF <laughs> of the night. And there's only the first truck out. And he's the first truck of this section. Definitely unfortunate. Well, this 
time we hope no trucks break because this exit is going to be blocked for a while. So. <laughs> I mean, they got this little room, but still. Hey, I, I, I just hope that Corey Snyder can come back and lay down a better pass in that red lane. At least finish. You know, you don't need a great time, but you don't want DNF. Yeah. Next up, Brianna Mahan, Whiplash, stays and ready to go. And we are going green. Much better straightaway from Brianna than Corey Snyder. Ooh, getting crooked. Oh! Over she goes! Two trucks in a row going for a roll, but she might be able to finish her lap here. She's going for it for sure. Trying to get that truck back on track. Heading through this straightaway big drift down the track and into this final turn. A much better jump this time, and that is going to do it for Brianna Mahan, our first time of the second quarter here. Nice hit over the pond as well. We do Lindsay Reed next up. Okay. Age and ready to go. We are going green. Big launch off the line. Heading down that straightaway. Look at this speed getting carried into the turn. Lightning fast. Getting back on track and heading down the track. Scooby Doo is absolutely killing it so far. This could be one of our faster times of the night so far. I mean, haven't heard time yet, but we'll see how it goes. Scooby Doo rough on the final turn, getting crooked. Lindsay Reed going for a ride. Oh. Down she goes. Three trucks in a row going for a ride down the track. Oh. What a save from Scooby Doo. All right, I, I honestly forgot her whiplash time, but still, I still got it inside my head. That's good. Nothing is going to be that. All right, whiplash time is going to be a... 31.96. And then Lindsay Reed's uh, current time is actually pretty good. It is a 25.69. She wouldn't have struggled in the end there. She could have knocked a couple milliseconds off and had a bit faster of a time, but that was still a great time. It felt super smooth and super fast. But next up, we got Monster Energy, Todd LaDuke getting staged. Looks like he's ready to go as we go green for Monster Energy. Blasting off, getting into trouble in that launch ramp, with that launch ramp, I should say, heading around this first turn. Looking good up and over the line for the first time. Drifting around that turnaround. Looking great. May not. Wow. No! Oh! Every single Jesus. truck has gone for a ride at some point here in this round so far. Monster Energy being able to complete his lap, but. Oh! oh. Almost had a front flip here in qualifying. Makes me look forward to freestyle. But that is a rough break for Monster Energy. 31.73. Yeah, rough pass for sure. One of our slowest, not our slowest, but one of them. And we actually officially have a DNF now thanks to Toxic. So he's not at the bottom bottom. <laughs> yep. Just gotta quickly move this and not the suspension will break somehow. I don't understand that, but it's a lot of I mean, it, it probably would happen in real life. If it gets caught up with all the things. It depends. It depends. I'm not going to say no, but it depends. Hold on. Sorry. My bad. That was fun. All right, let's get back into it with Swamp Thing. Ooh, One of our few trucks here not wearing BKTs. All right, this should be a, a good time, but not the best. Right. 
see how it goes. Launching off the line for his first pass of the night. And with his first turn, looking a little rough, having a brake check halfway through. And it's into this turnaround. Looking solid here. It does seem like you have to adjust in these turns. Up and over the ramp, and that is going to do it. Oh! Look at this! Finishing it up with the stopping something. Killing it. See how this time is here. And he is our first truck to not roll it during or after I just got a run. Say Considering that this truck and driver are from the UK and they only did concrete shows with cars, he did really good for a 25.96. Wow. Not, not one of our best times of the night, but all things considered, everything you said absolutely nailed it for a big show here in America. Get her done, lined up, and ready to go, and we are green. Ran into lots of first world finals appearance here in the main field, getting in trouble there. Heading into this turnaround once again. Solid turn. Doing good down the straight as well. Getting up on two wheels, saving it. What a move there. Brandon Zalapka getting up on two wheels again. And that is no doubt going to be one oh. of our slower times, but definitely a wild move. Wild bunch of moves there from Zalapka. All right, the time is actually pretty surprising, considering that he uh, had to go walk around. Yeah, took a little stroll. Let's see. His time is surprisingly 34.76. I thought it was only going to get slower. That's kind of surprising. Oh, yeah. I, I agree. I, I, you know, I wasn't counting, but I was assuming it was going to be in the 36, you know, 30, 38 range. There we go. Next up, Ryan Anderson, son of a digger, is green. Heading down the straightaway into this first turn. Looking solid. Absolutely nailing that first turn. One of our faster turns, I would say. Looking good around the turnaround as well through this chicane before taking on the straightaway. Trying to get any bit of traction and speed that he can. It's up and over the line, and that is going to do it. Son of a digger. Looking fast out here in Anaheim. What are we looking at this time? We are looking at a... Oh, oh. Alright. Mm, I think he could have done better as this time will be a... 25.85. Not a bad time. And he is one of our short champions, correct? Yep. So he's looking solid. That is only his first pass of the night. Most of these trucks aren't doing so well in the red lane, but we'll see how he does in his second pass. Tom Mintz, 20th anniversary, Mac B is green. Oh, oh no. Loses the rear end in the first turn and he's getting crooked here. Struggling out on the Anaheim track. Definitely not the way you want to go into your retiring year, your final year as a driver. Working for it though, trying to get something happening here. Hopefully he will do a bit better in that red lane. What are we looking at on times for maximum destruction on a bicycle? Taking it down the track and setting it down. Alright, we are looking at a... Twenty-nine four one. Wow. Unfortunate. Again, that is not the way you want to go into your final year as a driver, but 
This is only qualifying. It doesn't necessarily say everything about what you can expect in racing. So maybe he'll do better later on. He might be able to take a win if he can come back, but we all know that's what he's going for here at the World Finals. Bakugan Dragonoid Camden Murphy coming out next, taking the track up on that starting pad, getting lined up and staged. It's looking like he's ready to go. And we are green. Camden taking off down that starting pad, heading into this first turn. Looking solid so far. around this turnaround, narrowly avoiding that launch ramp, looking great. This could be one of our faster runs. He does it, he messed up, and down he goes. And he's getting crooked as well. A lot of these trucks in the second quarter is going too hard. Getting a little crossed up over the line. What are we looking at for a time for Cameron Murphy? We are looking at a 25. Yeah, definitely not one of our faster times, but a solid time for sure. I'm surprised. This run, this uh, quarter is actually going by a really fast. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that these drivers aren't themselves. The drivers aren't getting as fast as what we expect from the other round. But Avengers going green. He's launching down the track. Jim Polar. Not necessarily known for his racing. And there we go, that shows you right there. As he goes freestyling a little bit, but he's continuing on with his black, with his pass. Looking solid around the turn right now. Got him nice and tight. Trying to get a good time here, going freestyling just a little bit. Narrowly avoiding that launch ramp. Back up on the starting pad, going for round two. What are we looking at for a time? We are looking at a 26.10. Not a bad time. Not one of our worst times. We've had quite a few that have gotten up into the 30s tonight. So all things considered, I mean, for a starting run, first run, not bad. Thunder Roar is Tony Oates. He's green. Through this straightaway, drifting around this first turn, looking solid so far, nice and tight around that ramp. Oh no! Tony Oates all over the place, trying to get that truck spun around and get back on track. But it's not looking like this is going to end in a great time for him. Around this final turn, another truck getting crooked, but keeping it in control. That's not going to be a great time for Tony. Time for Tony Oates and Thunder Royce is going to be a. 30.53. 30.53. There we go. That shows you right there what I was talking about with El Toro Loco. A lot of these trucks are struggling to keep it under control and ending up in the 30s, whether it be bicycles or just losing that rear end. El Toro Loco, Mark McDonald next out on the track stage, and we are green. That awesome black El Toro Loco. Cutting it real close to that launch ramp. Taking it nice and tight around this turn as well. Get up on two wheels, setting it back down and heading right into that turnaround. McDonald's is having a solid run here for his first pass. A bit rough on the exit up and over that massive center hill. And that is gonna do it. Trying to keep that truck on all four BKTs. What are we looking at for a time for Mark and Donald? We are looking at a... Uh, uh, it felt good. We are looking at a... Let's see. 
25.72. Not a bad time at all. Definitely not one of our worst times. Here comes Corey Snyder taking on the red lane for the first time. We'll see if he can hold it together and keep it off of the roof this time. He just went over not long ago in that blue lane. Adam Mahan. I'm not even going to differentiate. Let's just say a lot of these trucks in their first pass in that blue lane went over. And I'm hoping that they can hold it together this time and put down some faster passes to be able to come back and actually compete here for fastest qualifier. But we'll see how it goes. Obviously, Monster Energy, another one of those trucks that went over in their first pass. Swamp Thing was actually our first truck to not go the truck. We did have an awesome stoppy after the finish line. That is the last just get her done too. Had a, had a solid run going, but ended up getting up on two wheels. Didn't know the truck was on the road, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, but he did have a couple close calls. Son of a digger. Fast. First pass. See if he can improve. 20th anniversary, Max B. Looking to do better. I'm looking for him to do better. Camden Murphy in that Bakugan Dragonoid truck. And Bowler in Avenger. Almost rolling it there. Tony Oaks in Thunder Roris. Bumping Avenger and El Toro Loco, Mark McDonald, who had one of our faster times of the uh, of the section here, of the quarter. Corey Schneider, ready to go. And we are green. Launching down the track and into this first turn. Much better turn this time. He did roll over in his first turn last time. So he's actually going to be able to, hopefully, I don't know yet, might be able to get a time this time. Toxic losing that rear end just a bit. Getting up on the ramp. Going freestyle in here in qualifying. And he's going over again. Can he get a save at least? Trying for it, but just unable to get it. Toxic uh -oh. goes down to DNF. Two of them. That is no time for the night. He is our bottom seed in the, in the racing bracket right now. With no times on the board. Very unfortunate for the toxic team tonight. Next up, taking the track, Brianna Mahan, Whiplash, Cage, and we are green. Cutting it nice and tight around that triple. And lined up for that uh, racing lane, excuse me. Stumbling over my words, Brianna Mahan taking on that turnaround, looking good. Oh no! Going for a ride and down she goes. Trying to get a save once again. She gets it. That is two rolls in a row. Looking like her first pass is going to be the fastest of the two. Unfortunate break for Whiplash tonight. Hopefully she does better in racing. Yeah, unfortunately she got a slower time of 13. Yeah. Rough break for Brianna. She's going a bit too wild, losing that rear end this time, which sent her up on that launch ramp. Lindsey Reed and Scooby-Doo stage. We're green. that first turn looking better than she did in her first pass so far maybe i'm tripping i remember i actually she, she seemed fast last time She's looking good once again heading into the final turn already cutting it nice and tight scooby-doo could have a fast pass here in that red lane that might be her lane tonight we do we get a time of uh oh snap Finally, some uh -oh. interesting action.
She what are we looking at? Have a time of 34.94. The fastest wow. time right now is a 24.89. Super close. Second place, if I'm reading. Is that correct? Our second yep. qualifier so far? Gooby Doo. Lightning fast. Lindsey Reed putting down a solid second pass. She will not be getting a third pass. So that is the time that we're running with. But she did well out here in this red lane. First truck to really do well. Monster Energy launching off the line. Heading down that straightaway. Hopefully he can keep it together this time. God, the dude went over twice in his first pass. Super close to that backflip ramp. Narrowly avoiding it. Heading around this final turn. Cutting it nice and tight. We might have another fast pass here with Monster Energy. What a run. Bouncing all over the place. What are we looking at for a time for Monster Energy? Let's see. This is time with a 31. 7 3. And let's see what's 27 3. And his new time is going to be a. 25.27. Super fast time. Definitely better than his first. I could tell you that from the finish line. That truck felt fast this time. Just had too many mistakes his first pass. Up. Swamp thing. Tony Dixon. Getting stays here. Dry hop, clearing the debris from the starting line. And we are green. Launches off the line. Flap really down the straightaway. Heading around our first turn here in that red lane. Look at solid so far. Clips the bus. Here we get into trouble. Keeping it smooth, keeping it fast. Oh no! No! Oh! Save it! One thing gets an incredible save. Keeping that body scratch free. He was our only truck. Almost getting in trouble. Getting in trouble again. There is a slower time this time. This is our only truck, our first truck that didn't roll over in that blue lane in this second quarter here. So to see him go out like that is unfortunate. What are we looking at for a time? 34.19, not fast enough to get his time. Just get her done on the line, and he is green. Taking on this straightaway, lightning fast, heading into the first corner. Looking solid so far. Big round and turn around. Looking good, this might be a fast pass. Faster than his first for sure. Hold it together through this final turn. Narrowly avoiding that but that triple ramp. And he's gonna go over, but it doesn't matter. He's already passed the line. He's gonna be getting a solid time. What are we looking at for his time? His new oh, Alright, his new fastest time is gonna be a 25.87. And is, that is faster than his original. His original was a 26. Yep, or actually it was a 34. Oh, wow. Right. He went up with two wheels. Right. Incredible run this pass. A couple of these trucks are doing pretty well in this red lane here in the second quarter. The opposite of what we saw in the first quarter. Most of the trucks were doing good in that blue lane. Most of our trucks here were struggling in the blue lane this time. Yep. Next oh yeah, looking great in this red lane so far. But next up we got a fast truck, Ryan Anderson in Son of a Digger, staged on that starting line. All right, yeah, I'm good. And we are green. Son of a Digger already down in that first turn. Looking good. Not looking as fast as the other truck's gone over. A left hit for Son of a Digger right on the roof. Throttle might be stuck or something. He was going wild there. 
Down goes Son of a Digger with a DNF. Completely broken shock there, it looks like. Unfortunate break for Son of a Digger here in Anaheim for his second pass in qualifying. But luckily, he had a decent pass in that blue lane on his first first pass. I went ahead and uh, sent you something, but yeah, that was really unfortunate. <laughs> well, Ryan Anderson struck the uh, now I can just fix. You know, you know it's, just, it's, just, it, it, it's a it's a little dent, you know, not as much. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see we'll see if they can fix that little dent before racing. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know, put on the radio real quick. You know, it's starting to get a little bit bland, but at the same time as trucks. Tom Mintz coming out for his second pass of the night. This time in that red lane. He did have a decent pass in that blue lane, if I remember correctly. But we are about to go green here. We're green. Launching off the line, that 20th anniversary back beat. Drifting into this first turn, looking good. Up and over that racing lane. Uh-oh, getting tripped up. No! Come oh, on, save it! Saves it! But that is not going to save his time. This is going to be a rough time. Tom Mintz in back B here in Anaheim. Maxi looking for a decent final turn. Please. Oh, nearly getting in trouble there with that center pad and getting it stopped right for that backflip ramp. Unfortunate break for Max D in his second pass. What are we looking at for time for Max D? We are looking at a slower time as it was a 33.29. What was his first time again? 29.4. Yeah, a couple of, of rough passes for Max D. Unfortunate. But next up, Bakugan Dragonoid Camden Murphy is green. Launching down the track, heading into this first turn in the red lane. And he's up on two wheels. Spin cycle. I swear. This is it's, not two wheel skills though. It's the, it's the good scrubs that are starting to get on, uh, starting to mess up. He is just struggling out on this track here in the red lane. I don't know. He had, he was, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we gotta see how this time turns out. The heavy hitter, I don't know what's wrong. It's gonna go really bad. Woo! Oh! Oh! Trying to get a save once again. He does, but not without a scratch. Bakugan Dragonoid gets an incredible save with a four link bar hanging. Man, unfortunate. What are we looking at for a time? This pass. Let me hear the let me hear the other pass too. 35.81. And his uh, original time was 25.7. Unfortunate in this red lane for Bakugan. He had a decent run the first time. Hoping, hoping for a better run again is Avenger here. Days and we are great. Jim Kohler. I said last time, he's not, he's not really known for his racing, but he might be if he rolls it like these other trucks. See if he can hold it together here around this turnaround. Looking pretty fast, looking faster than his first. If I'm remembering correctly, right, let's see how it goes. Decent turn here, and that might be a solid time. It is actually slow. Wow, really? His original is a 26.10, and his new time is 26, uh, uh, 26.36. At least he's consistent. I mean, I can't say much for it being slower. You just gotta, gotta, you know, practice a bit more, I guess. But he's uh, at least he's consistent. 
Next up, getting aligned with that starting line, Tony Oaks, Thunder Roar is, is green. Heading into this first turn, Thunder Roar is nice and tight. Launching off of that, that ramp, looking good so far. Getting on two wheels, though. Down goes Tony Oaks, looking for a save. Gets the save, but it is not going to happen in terms of time here in the red lane. Thunder Roars is going to have a tougher time, or a worse time. Try he's just, yeah, he's going to get uh, a DNF. <laughs> not a worse time. He's going to get a DNF. One last driver. That's his time. That is hard Let's see. Down. Mark McDonald in that black El Toro Loco staged and ready to go. Smoke blowing. We're green. Heading down this straightaway. Mark had a pretty solid time in his first pass. I'm looking forward to see how he does here in the second pass. It seems like he's going to do well again. Nearly going over like Thunder Roars did. But he is all out of sorts. After getting back on all four BKTs, wheelie down the straightaway. Heading around this final turn. This is going to be a worse time. But it's okay. At least he finished. Unlike uh, unlike somebody with uh, sharp teeth and uh, opening uh, mouth. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> that is going to do it for our second quarter. What are we looking at for times for El Toro Loco? He got a 27.95, and his original was 25.17. Yeah, he had a pretty solid time the first time. It's unfortunate. Got into trouble in his second pass. All right, get ready for the cameras again. I'm going to get ready.
Action! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I y'all heard me say action mode. Alright, here. Four three! Woohoo! Then after Woo. quarter, we'll do high jump and then quarter four. Alright. Alright, first first opponent here in quarter three. Mohawk Warrior. Stage here green. Not just Mohawk Warrior, Mohawk Warrior Zombie. Something I'm excited to see, something I'm happy to see on the field. Heading around to the line for the first time. Entering into this turnaround. A lot of trucks have been struggling here. Mohawk Warrior seems to be alright. Big wide. Drifting through this straight away. Getting into trouble there. A power wheelie and getting the save too at the line. What are we looking at for a Mohawk Warrior zombie? We are looking at 29. Not the worst time, but definitely something that needs some improvement. We'll see if he does better in that red lane. Yep, let's really hope so. Oh, so. Done with this real quick. All right, we should be all good. All right, next up is hey. Sonic Zero. Well, I said the driver. He said the name. <laughs> John Zimmer. And Sonic Heroes taking on the blue lane for the first time here in qualifying. Staged and ready to go, and we are green for Sonic Heroes launching Whoa. off the line. Huge slap, really. Down the straightaway into this first turn. Sonic Heroes struggling just a bit around that, that corner. Heading into this turnaround. Looking solid. One of our better runs through that turnaround. Even for the blue lane, but struggling here in this final turn. These trucks are not liking that final turn here in quarter three. And that is going to do it for his first pass. He'll be back out to take on the red lane in just a minute. What are we looking at for times for Sonic Heroes? 28.13. Also, I wanted just to say, I don't know what it is with this channel. I, I think he's copying my content. I'm not so sure. Hey, man, I don't know about that. Rigs of Rods Monster Jam Semi-Realistic Point Series is my preferred channel that I like to watch. Uh, honestly, honestly, but my preferred channel <laughs> is uh, Monster Truck Action. I don't know about you, fellow. All right, all right. Let's leave it up to the fans here. Check out Rigs of Rods Monster Jam Semi-Realistic Point Series here on, on, uh, on YouTube. Excuse me. R-O-R-S-R-P-S. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe and unsubscribe for me and the back there's room enough for both of us there's room enough for both of us <laughs> i mean both of you guys both of you guys all right next up superstar lined up ready to go and we are green for cody Socie. oh oh, oh i'm really getting caught up somehow staying on all four bkp tires after getting tripped up on that launch ramp Continuing with his run, that is going to hurt his time a bit, but he is quick to recover. As he heads down the straightaway for the final time in the blue lane. A much better final turn than the others. Not perfect, but better. And he is struggling here. Over that jump, let's check out the time for Superstar. Woo! Surprisingly, that he had that mess up. He actually got a good time. He has a 26.69. Wait, is that Not bad at all. I swear that's a copy of some other uh, truck. Oh, 
Oh, um, 31.96 and 25.96. It just flipped around to 69. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. A solid pass from Superstar, although he had that mistake. Next out on the track, that awesome looking custom bad company paint job. Lined up stage, ready to go here in the blue lane. Bad company is green. Launching down the straightaway much better than Cody's first pass. Struggling here in the turn, getting up on two wheels, dumping that front end in, and down he goes. Trying to get a save, somehow pulls it off the nose. Gets back on all four BKTs, but they shut him off. He is done here. It's looking like he's going to be a DNF for his first pass in the blue lane. I hope he can do better in the red lane. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all what the schedule is. After this, we are going to do a high jump, and then without him, unfortunately, he's going to have to go to soon uh, do some yeah. stuff around the park. You know, he has to make sure everything's all good. He's going to, you know, not be driving the truck, but maybe. Just maybe. But he has to go to make sure everything's all good. Then I'll do showdown fall fine alone, and then that's the end for today. Tomorrow we are going to go hard give you guys an excellent show and I'll be back. Black Pearl is here now and he is green. Superstar. Up and over the line. Heading around this turnaround. Black Pearl having a decent run so far. A bit wide in that turnaround. Heading back down the straight, looking for the finish line. Having to adjust midway through the turn, getting sideways, up and over the finish, and that is gonna do it for Black Pearl in his first pass. Oh, look at the moonwalk from Black Pearl. What a move to finish off his first pass here. Hopefully he can do a bit better in that red lane. What are we looking at for times? 26.26. Not bad at all, cutting it a bit close to a 25, just a bit of improvement. And he'll be down there with some of our fastest times of the night. We'll see if he can improve for that red lane. Kraken taking the track now. Nick Pagliarulio, Pagliarulo, excuse me. Dage and ready to go, Leo. And we are green. For his first pass here in the blue lane, looking solid. I think he keeps it up at this pace. He could have a really solid time. Eventually down in our top eight for the night. And he does an absolutely solid time from Kraken. Let's take a look at our time and see exactly what we're getting into with Kraken. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. This, you know, Pagliarulo fans, at least. Pagliarulio. Pagliarulo. <laughs> All right. This time to beat is a 24.89. And the time for Nick Pagliarulo. All right, Nick Pagliarulio. <laughs> Kraken is a 24.89. Seven eight. He is your new time leader. What a run from Kraken! Our fastest pass so far tonight. Our fastest qualifier at this point. We'll see if anybody can beat him and take that top spot. But it is not looking good. I will tell you that only a couple trucks have performed solid enough to get down there in those times. And Kraken obviously is the one to do it. Jester next. Father-son duo here in the main field. Jester in his first World Finals appearance getting staged and ready to go for his first pass in this blue lane. He's staged and we are green. Jester taking off down the track. Looking to do a similar run 
to his son. Getting kind of tripped up there. Going for a ride. He is down over the nose and back on all four BKG tires. And he's going to keep it running and try to try to salvage this time the best he can. Had a bit of a rough turnaround there as well. Oh on top of the Can you believe this guy? He's such a jester. <laughs> <laughs> and he is doing the same exact thing almost in this second time over the line. What a run from Jester. Definitely not one of our faster times, an unfortunate break. What are we looking at four times here? We're looking at a 29 and three splits. Absolutely up there with some of our slower times of the night. Uh, quite a few trucks have gotten up in the 27 to, 20, or 27 to 31 range, I should say. And uh, we'll, we'll see how Max D here can do Max D driven by Colton Eichelberger with that Gears and Galaxy and Galaxy Max D scheme. Don't forget next month on the, whenever the some world, other world finals is going to be on that exact day, there's going to be an all star challenge here. <laughs> You can, you can check out the All-Star Challenge here, or you can check out no, no, November no, 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 17th no, no, no. through the 19th, the ROR SRPS World Finals, but the Galaxy Max D, Colt Heichelberger is free. I think that's yeah, we Definitely check out that World Finals. Though. No, 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 no. Check out the Max D pulling it nice and tight around that first turn. Getting up on two wheels, though, just like Tom did in that red lane. Max D getting it back on all four BKGs, so though, keeping it rolling. Able to recover, might be able to salvage this time if he doesn't slip up again, and there he goes, and he's going freestyle. Forget racing, Max D going big here. Anaheim, and he's still going freestyling. Look at this. Gold Michaelberger, if he can't take the fastest qualifier, title he will take a freestyle title we'll see how he doesn't freestyle tomorrow but next up on the track we got brodozer oh yeah yeah let me hear the time for uh gears and galaxies of uh, xd 28.20 28.20 for Max D, Brodos are hitting the track now, heading up to that starting pad, one of the, getting a line. Let me just say this, one of the fastest trucks out here. Now I have this, heard, I have not seen. <laughs> you, I'm gonna open my UI because this is super important and y'all definitely wanna look at the speed that this thing is gonna handle. Brodos are pulling up, getting staged in that blue lane. Ready to go, and we are green, launching off the line. Taking off down the track, absolutely flying, and over he goes, somehow not getting a, oh, there goes the scratches. He's going for a save, somehow did not get shut off, getting up and over that uh, dumpster lane. barrier. Like now. Lane. And he's going freestyle and going wild. Go. Well, he has nearly abandoned <laughs> his qualifying pass here. <laughs> uh, oh, Take no, it. no. Yep, turn four. Yep. All right, now going to there we go. Getting in there, and that is going to be potentially our slowest time of the night. That is not a DNF. Let's take a look at the time. What are we looking at? 48.05. Yeah, I believe that is our slowest time. <laughs> let, me, let me double check. 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. I could have sworn there was a 40. Eh, we don't have one. Yeah, that is definitely our slowest time of the night. Rodozer. Slowest time was a 39.13 by Mac Miller. Really? I could have swore there was a 42, but it's all right. That'll, that, that's a struggle. Yeah, so far from my knowledge. Some other truck could add redemption. Uh, 
Alright, now hide the UI uh. because we don't need it anymore. That's, that's it. Hide the UI. Alright, now back to Monster Truck Not. <laughs> Next up on the track, Bro Camino, Diesel Dave, lining up with that starting line in the blue lane, getting ready to go here for his first pass of the night. We are green. Bro Camino launching down the straight, looking good, opposed to his counterpart. Picking up that front tire, getting nice and tight around that first turn, heading into this turnaround here. Looking fast, if I if I uh, if I say so myself. It's looking good so far. Trying to cut it back in, nice and tight. Having to adjust halfway through that turn, getting sideways. Rough hit on those sidewalls, and down goes Bro Camino. He is gonna get a save. That was a rough hit on those two right tires. Curious to see what his time is for that pass. I don't think it's good cell time. <laughs> or you have the time. Um, the time for Diesel Dave is going to be at 26.14. It, it felt faster. I'll give you that. It's a 25. Or a 20. What did you say? 25? 26? 26.14 for Bro Camino. Next up, the second generation Kohler, Chris Kohler. In Monster Mutt, Shades and Richie Gold's tail wagon, we are green. Monster Mutt, here slapping in the wind, taking it nice and tight around that first turn. This could be a contender for a fast pass here, if he can keep that truck under control, nearly getting up on two wheels off of that racing lane. Spinning that truck around for the final turn. Fast! Monster Mutt! Monster Mutt had a very fast pass and he's going for a ride. What are we looking at for a time for Monster Mutt? I'm gonna be 24, 7, 8. Time for Monster Mutt's gonna be a 24 point. Seven. Nine. Just barely. Oh, so close. Our closest to the fastest without grabbing the fastest spot of the night. So it looks what like what a CRP, run. Fasties are not good for racing. <laughs> That's just the CEI or uh, the C CRC. Just no one tells the my commentator but just don't, just don't tell anyone that cracking is a PEI chest you're right you don't need to know that. okay I won't say nothing all right well let's continue on next out on the track Earthshaker looking slimy here yes. in Anaheim he got two racing wins in a row so I believe in this guy this guy got to what it takes and he is a tour champion if I remember correctly yep for this season, but he is on the line stage and ready to go, and we're green. I believe it. I hey, you, I'm believe. right there with you. We'll see how he goes, cutting it nice and tight around that first turn. Maybe get another race win under his belt? Or... We'll see how he does. Nice out wide through that turn, but he does seem to be holding some speed here. Aww. Having to adjust halfway through the turn, getting crooked over the line, and that is gonna do it for Earthshaker's first pass. He's gonna throw in some donuts for these fans. Definitely not the way he wanted to go out as far as a time, but he does have one pass left to try and better that time. We'll see how he does for the rest of qualifying. 26.65, not the worst time, just not as solid as he wanted to be. Had some trouble up and over the car, or, or the tire pads, excuse me. I, I think he just wants to uh, freestyle. Everyone does, man, but it's qualifying, get in line. 
that's fine. He still, <laughs> hate, he still hates you for saying that. <laughs> oh well, man. I, maybe I hate you for having a slow pass. Next up on the track for his second pass, Mohawk Warrior Zombie getting aligned with that starting line. Ready to go, and we are green for Mohawk Warrior Zombie launching off the line of first pass in this red lane. Holding it nice and tight around that triple. Going wild here, clipping that bus. And it's going to be hard on his time. Even hard on his time. He's getting clipping down the track. Losing the rear end. Going freestyle. Uh, and trying to salvage what he can of his time. I don't think it's going to do much here. That is a rough pass. And he's going to continue to go freestyle. Stuffing that front end in. Do that bus. Somehow getting a moonwalk off of that. That was pretty crazy. What are we looking at for a time for Mohawk uh, Warrior Zombie's second half? We're looking at a 32.94. Yeah, that was definitely rough. Unfortunate for Mohawk Warrior. He had a decent pass in his first, uh, first pass, I believe, but not, not doing it this time. Next out on the track, taking that uh, position on the starting line, Sonic Heroes, we are green. Slap Wheelie down the red lane. What a turn. Absolutely launching that truck into the beginning, having a rough exit there, and getting all over the place, over the ramp. Uh -oh. Trying to pull that truck around for the turnaround, and he is just not cutting it. Struggling big time out on this track. Flat tire. Oh, flat tire for Sonic Heroes. Having a tough time controlling that truck. These trucks just love freestyle tonight. And it ain't two wheel skills yet either. So <laughs> these trucks got to rein it in a little bit. We'll see if they can control it and get some good times. Maybe one of these guys can steal that fastest qualifier spot from uh, Kraken. Superstar went for a wild ride in his first pass in the blue lane. He's coming back out to take on his first pass in that red lane, his final pass of the night. He's staged and ready to go, and we're green. He launches off the line. Another truck getting a nice slap wheelie down the track. Avengers Racing Superstar, the Lord's Garage Superstar, Monster Talk Superstar, other sponsors Superstar, and he's going for a ride. Down he goes. Pulls out a save somehow. Getting back on all four BKT tires. There's another wheelie as he enters that straightaway. Really struggling to grab control of this truck. Up and over the line, and that is going to do it for Superstar as he snaps the wheel right off the knuckle. I mean, he's and the that first, is going to do it. He's the first truck to do that, honestly. Yeah, nobody has snapped a wheel clean off yet. I believe there was somebody who might have snapped a tie rod or something, but I don't think anybody's uh, broke a wheel off. Yep. First time for everything. Hey, hey, hey. Rough run from Superstar. Next up. Oh, what was the time for Superstar? It was a 36.4. Yeah, not not doing himself any favors out on this track tonight. Bad company lined up, and we are gripping for his second and final pass of the night. Taking on that straightaway, looking good. Bad company was solid his first pass in the blue lane and he's looking to do it again smooth through that first turn to head into his first turnaround or last turnaround I should say heading into this final turn for bad company pulling it nice and tight might have a fast pass here not the fastest of the night but it's a solid one for sure what are we looking at for time 25 for 25 he does better than last time, because last time he got a DNF. Oh, really? Yep. I thought he had a solid run last time, but he had a DNF. Unfortunate for his first pass. Not the best time he could have gotten tonight, but at least he got a time. <laughs> Next out on the track, coming back for his second pass of the night. Black Pearl, that awesome body out on the track getting lined up for his red lane pass 
staged and ready to go. Flags waving in the wind, and we're green. Heading around the triple for the first time. Getting a little crooked there. Struggling to keep off of those freestyle obstacles like many other trucks so far. Out wide in that turnaround as well, but he might recover from it decent. Heading back for his final turn. He is going to head to the finish line. Oh, rolling the truck. Down goes Black Pearl. And somehow able to pull it out and get a save and a wheelie. What are we looking at for Black Pearl's time? 26.44, which is not faster than a 26.26. Next up, our fastest qualifier of the night so far, Bracken, coming out to take on the red lane. We had our fastest time of the night in the blue lane not long ago. He's looking to do it again and perfect his time here out in the red lane. And we are green for Bracken. Looking for a faster time than the blue lane. Pulling it nice and tight, but he is not going to get a faster time this time. Messing up early, flipping that triple. Does oh, losing the rear end in the turnaround as well. I was going to say he looks solid around the turnaround. But Austin. Final turn, can he hold it together for the last turn? He can. But it's unfortunate that our fastest qualifier has a fourth or last there, but we'll see how his time is. Yeah, I was about to say I'm not expecting much. That was a rough performance in for a second pack. Kraken is stuck! But it is where he belongs in the water, so. <laughs> I'm sure he's happy. Jester taking the track down for his second pass. His first pass in the, uh, the red lane. Again, this is Jester's first appearance in the world finals. Getting staged and ready to go. And we are green. Needs to avoid that launch ramp. Trying hard. He heads into his first turn. Trying to get nice and tight, but ends up going freestyling here in Anaheim. Oh, oh no! Down goes Jester. He's gonna be able to get a save. He's trying for it, going for the spin cycle. Oh, over rotation. Trying to get back on all four BKT tires, and down goes Jester. And that's gonna be a DNF for his second pass tonight. Unfortunate break for sure. It's not how you want to see the father-son duo go out stuck and DNF. But that's how it broke down tonight. Next up on the track, Cole Michaelberger in that Gears Max D from the Gears and Galaxies pack. I, I, I'm honestly looking forward to this pass. I feel I'm feeling something good about this one. So hopefully. We can have a solid pass as we go green in this red lane. Max D taking off down the track. Heading around this first turn, looking solid, nice and smooth turn to kick us off. Heading around this turn around. Having a decent drift, flipping that inner long ramp though. And he is all over the place. Maybe the feeling I had was for some destruction. He is struggling here. The body is still in one piece, but we'll see if it stays that way as he crosses the finish line. And that is going to do it. An unfortunate break that might have been worse than his first pass. We'll see how the times come out. Struggling. The back is going to be a 28.20, and he will get a 31.18. Yeah, unfortunately worse than his first pass. That's unfortunate because I was really feeling something. I thought I thought something was gonna happen there. Hold on, Max is trying to start up. Max is struggling to get turned over. Back up and running. 
Hopefully they can tame those electrical issues before racing. Yup, yup. Brodozer seems to be fixed here after a rough pass in his or uh, uh, after a rough first pass in the blue lane. There we go. He's gonna take on the red lane. And Ooh, see how he does speed. here. Absolutely flying into the stadium, somehow avoiding all those other trucks. Oi. Ooh. Brodozer doing Brodozer stuff on that starting pad. I feel like I, I feel like if we were to do a world record it'd probably be with this guy. Jumping trucks. Alright, that's where we turn on the HUD and see him run it first gear. It's like what do you get the timer ready? It's all set. You're green. Rotos are launching off that starting line. Huge slap wheelie down the track. Into this first turn much better than his first turn in the blue lane. He's taken on this turnaround. Hopefully he can keep that truck together this time. Nice drift around that turnaround into this final turn. Looking solid. And that could be one of our faster times tonight. Brodozer completes a lap this time without a mistake until after the finish line. <laughs> All right. Time will be a 26.42. Not would terrible, add but not one of our faster times of the night. Could have sworn you would have had a faster run. Yeah, it felt fast, didn't it? Yeah. So far, the fastest time to set a right lanes there are there's terminal velocity, Gravedigger Orange, Monster Energy Solid Duke, Shuby Dudes Lindsay Reed, Just Get Her Done, Second Generation, John Gordon, Bad Companies, and Heavy Deeds Broke those are those are the only right lanes that uh have the fastest time. That's incredible considering tonight's passes. We had a lot of good passes. Most of them coming out of that blue lane. Bro Camino taking the track now, and he's about to take on that red lane for the first time. He's staged and ready to go. Bro Camino. Launching off the line and down the track, taking on this first turn. Cutting it nice and tight around that race lane. Oh, oh no! Going for a barrel roll mid race. Going freestyle. Trying to get some two wheel skills moves out on the track. And trying to get a save here, pulls it out. Down he goes, straight up and down, on his lid and back around on all four BKT types. Bro Camino is gonna get a DNF, but he went wild. He was he was going freestyling here. And now for our second to last truck qualifying for the main field. Monster Mud, Chris Kohler. Taking on the red lane, had a nice pass, nearly grabbing our fastest run of the night. We're green for the red lane. We'll see if he can perfect his time and get a better one than he did in the blue lane. Cutting it super tight around that purple. Getting in trouble up on two wheels. Setting it back down though. He's drifting around this turnaround. Chris Kohler is looking fast once again. Nearly getting in trouble there, but he might have a fast pass here in the red lane. I'm going to be honest, and I'm going to say that I'm thinking Monster Mutt could take a racing win. His last time was a 24.79, and now he got to 25.58. Not super close, but the fact that both of those passes were solid, both of those passes were fast, I'm going to call Monster Mutt. As long as he doesn't roll over or make any big mistakes, Monster Mutt could be a racing champion here at the World Finals in Anaheim.
But next up for his final qualifying pass and our final qualifying pass for the main field, Earthshaker is taking on the red lane. Woo. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Earthshaker lined up, stays ready to go, and we are green. Launching off the line, taking on this first turn around that red lane. Earthshaker looking fast here this time. Trying not to lose the rear end. And he doesn't lose the rear end, but he does go freestyling. And that is unfortunate. This is going to be a worse time than his first pass. Earthshaker just looking to hit that finish line now. And there it is. Earthshaker completes a lap. But not going to be enough to get a fastest qualifying time or beat his original time what are we looking at for times 83 so that means for the main field kraken is your fastest qualifier let's hear one time for kraken as we wrap up our main field qualifying session and i wrap up for the night i appreciate you guys for tuning in and listening to me talk i appreciate mr album himself for letting me join in i will see you guys uh next time because yeah. i am headed out of here i will go and uh, see you tomorrow actually and yes, i will sir. go to cut the cameras as we go to get ready for our job
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the monster truck action! High jump competition. All of our trucks are currently all stage inside of a line, getting ready to see who can pull off the highest jumps. We can tell by the music, first up, it's gonna be Black Pearl, but we are currently fixing out just a few more things before we are all good. Alright, we are all good. As you can see on the left side of the screen, that tells us how high this truck is going. Let's go ahead and see what we'll go on. So first up is the Black Pearl, open up. This is the part where I actually need this, I also forgot, hold on. Need the replay so we're able to go back and see the exact steps. Point eleven is a pipe for Coven Art and Black Pearl. Heavy D, Imperator. Side is. All right, I was just air able to get it. That was very high. It was a thirty-five point two eight. I know y'all might not believe me, but I barely got that. High. So yeah. All right. I need to go to move protos. Let's see what adventure got. No, maybe he won't get last.
get a high of 33.27. Actually, 585. Five. I got 2 Still holding your leave. It, it is heavy D. Next up is Wes and Anderson driving grave digger. Was a thirty-two point five seven. The whole entire body came off as one. That's pretty surprising. I can't remember if this song is copyright and not that one. Let's see, let's go over it. <laughs> he got a 34.85 feet. Bro, it does it's gonna be hard to beat. But Zimmer Jr. has something set of mind. It's gonna be hard. So let's go and see John Jr. Don't applaud. I believe in him, he can do it. Three point ninety two feet. Well, we still got one more truck. It's at the back. We're going to go ahead and bring that one out. As of right now, Frodo is inside the lead. Okay. The lead with 35.28 feet. I'm gonna cut the screen one more time so we can go ahead and get last truck ready. I'll check out this last truck. Finally, last up is Zach Gardner in Wildside.
go ahead. Go for it. See what it was. Thirty-three point ninety six feet. That means your high jump champion is Heavy D and Brodozer. Now I gotta take a quick break, cause jeez. All these trucks are just ooh, making me go crazy. Alright, I'm gonna be back. Uh yeah, I got to.
Bob only has uh like three more minutes because the trucks are almost ready for showdown and qualifying.
we are now back. Continue. Go ahead and get Fidelos. Jacqueline Hyde will get a DNF. Go and start off. Twenty-five point six five. Next up is Tanner Root. It's out of Iron Outlaw. Thank <laughs> you. 
four. It's been the longest day so far. Been the only
another day and a half. My mind cannot handle a second round of this. It's the final two passes. Wolverine. Yeah, I can finally go weak. One of the fastest times, and it's now at 28. Right? It's a motorhead. Try to see one of the fastest time a movie Spider Man has. So, the final pass. Finally, a 25.45, and that will be the end for qualifying, as I cannot handle doing the right lane. So, ladies and gentlemen, your qualifying winner here is going to be uh, Mike Christensen in Vendetta with 25.45. Ladies and gentlemen, I am out of breath, so I will talk to you all tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be racing in the main competitions. Goodbye.